so we have a nightmare with internet. We're in Nilai, Malaysia, and we're on the Maxis fiber to the house. Um, when you run a speed test, it's like 900 meg download, 600 meg upload, two milliseconds ping speed. But when you're actually using the internet, it's snail's pace. So I know, um, at least I've heard that when you run a speed test, uh, your broadband provider will literally block everyone else and give you like your contracted rate, your speeds and ping. So you'll see like a fake, um, well, you'll see what your line's capable of, but, but then your use case will be a lot different. So we've also experienced several disconnections and um, in the evening, we hear that they throttle like internet when usage is high. I mean, perfectly normal, right? and like to be expected. So I'm okay with Maxis doing that. However, because of my work is re reliant on internet, I can't be disconnected. I can't have, um, I had two days the other day where I was working on, um, we had, we had a connect disconnection. So I had two days of mobile hotspot and it's just painful. So, um, I know you're going to say, why not use 5G? We're just outside the 5G coverage in Nilai. There's, there's spots of 5G I'll show on the map, um, but there's not 5G coverage. So like my phone doesn't pick up 5G, um, like on the map, it doesn't show 5G. So I've been wondering for a while and I've gone and done it. I've gone and bought Starlink. So I'm sure you know all about Starlink. It is basically an Elon Musk company. He's sent up thousands of satellites. In this box should be some kind of dish. You put the dish out, point it up at the sky, it connects with some satellites and you get pretty good internet. That's the story, that's the theory. So I questioned my favorite tool, Grok, about it. I was like, you know, I'm really struggling with Maxis. I talked to Grok like it's a human. Um, really struggling with Maxis. It then told me about like, oh, they'll be throttling your internet, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I said, you know, do you think Starlink's performance will be any good? It reckoned it would be at least comparable, if not better, um, because it doesn't think there'll be that many users around here. Um, when you have a high, so I didn't know, but Starlink apparently works. Um, so when I connect this dish, you have like a one-to-one -one mapping with your satellite. And there's so many, there's only so many dishes that can be supported. So let's say I move to another location and then remap my dish. If only if there's like a spot on the satellite, will I get a connection? So that's why they say it's not, um, it's not like a, so there's, there's roam and residential. Um, this is residential. So once you've connected, you, you shouldn't move the dish. And then there's a roam one where you can continually move about, but it costs a lot more. The residential, you can move location, but it, it won't promise you um, a connection. Whereas Rome promises you a connection. So anyway, I've gone for residential because if we go away for the weekend or something, apparently I can take it and try and connect. It will just depend on how many others are connected to the satellites. So um, this is kind of like, I feel like it's a last resort because um, I can't mobile so hotspot. I asked again, Grok about like what mobile hotspot speeds will be. And it's like, yeah, you will not get anywhere near your fiber connection and you won't get anywhere near a Starlink connection. And then it had various like examples. So mobile hotspot was really like a total backup to the backup to the backup. Um, if Starlink is any good, I will drop Maxis because um, it, it doesn't seem to be quick and it doesn't, um, when, I, when I load up my trading platforms, I sometimes sit there and wait for minutes for the prices to come in and it just shouldn't be like that. They should load instantly and the charts sometimes take several minutes to load and I can't operate like that. It's affecting my uh, performance. So uh, basically this is a long winded way of saying I'm trying Starlink because I don't know what other options. I can't use 5G, mobile hotspots are no good. There's obviously no other fiber operator who, because they're all using the same fiber line. Um, I don't think there's any like line of sight technology here. There might be Unify, but when I searched it, that also wasn't, didn't seem that relevant. So let's try Starlink. I'm going to unbox, see what's in here. I'm sure like, well, I was super interested. And when I looked to find people like setting up their Starlink, 
um, I found like some deep US state people setting up their dishes and stuff, but I didn't find anything in Malaysia. So I hope this will be interesting to um, people around here. And then we'll see what the performance is like. All right, let's go. Um, so I'll go through the Starlink website. All right, so here's Starlink website when you come on. Um, in Malaysia, there's less options than elsewhere. From when I purchased, there's only a single uh, dish size serves both the residential and the room. In other territories, they have the mini and they have like high performance dishes. So let's just have a look through. So here we are on Starlink website for Malaysia. Not that many options because they only have one bit of hardware here so far. It's a, one single dish. So whether you do residence or roaming, it's the same bit of hardware. Connect at home, starting from 220 ringgit a month. And if you want to move around, your 700 ringgit a month. What I did, I then um, looked at, if I duplicate this, go, I need to translate English. Okay, so if you go on residence order now, a view availability and speed map, that'd be a good thing to look at. Okay, so what you get on Starlink is, if we zoom out completely, you get a global map of where they are. So most of Europe, most of the US, Canada, South America, not that much of Africa, and then so oh, it's waiting list coming soon and available. So then down into Malaysia, yeah, you've got Philippines, Australia, Indonesia, but surprisingly, not Thailand coming soon. Uh, Bhutan, I believe, is that little country there. So anyway, in Malaysia, we do have it, and yeah, availability, download speed. So in Malaysia, we're meant to get, if you can see that as I hover over, between 106 and 270 megabits. Uh, upload speed, it's meant to be 17 to 33 megabits. Latency, the main item that most people think like doesn't really matter, the, the latency is, is the number. So it's 30 milliseconds. If you think about your fiber, you'll be less than 10. It actually makes a huge difference. But anyway, this is what you have to do or live with if you, um, if you get it. So anyway, into where I am, somewhere down here, that's the availability. Right, so order now, residential, see all plans. I think that, yeah, it just shows the two. So uh, on roaming, you get, so unlimited data, well, sorry, for residents, you get unlimited data, fixed location, but you can move that around, as I explained. Roaming. So this is if you've got an RV, like a motorhome, nomads and campers, work anywhere. So nationwide coverage, mobile usage, international travel, beach coverage, service, pause. Okay, so this, yeah, you can basically just rock it around with you. But what I'm going to show you now, so you go to roaming and the hardware is that. You go to residential order now and I'll show you the hardware, see the difference between the two? For roaming and um, residential it's the same bit of hardware that to me makes quite a bit of difference uh, because i think the roaming should be like the small package but it's not okay so just to go over no contract 30-day trial delivered within one to two weeks that was um it was delivered very quickly and then it's at the moment it's 1280 ringgit residential it's 220 a month the kit is 160 Shipping's 89, so 1689 to get signed up and kick it all off. Uh, the hardware, yeah, it's only one option. So that's basically it. That is your, um, that's what I went with. You then download an, the app, which you'll see in a bit. And that's kind of seems to be where you control your, your Starlink from. So I've just checked and the residential contract can't be paused. You can cancel it, uh, but you can't pause it. The Rome side, you can pause your connection at any point. That's quite cool, but obviously you're paying a lot more to do that. So I would obviously, be, I'll be paying for a month in full and to not pay the next month, I'll have to cancel it in advance of that like renewal date, um, should that be the case. And then it says, just be warned, if, it's, if the connections to the dishes are full, you are not promised a, a reconnect. Again, with Starlink, you do need to be able to see the sky. So you need to either get on your roof or like you do need to see the whole sky. So since I've had the app, it is telling me that I have an obstruction, which I'm going to rectify.
I think that's everything for the website. Now back to the setup. This arrived in about three days. I don't know where it's been. I can probably look where it's been shipped from. But yeah, three days. And uh, I'll show you on the Starlink website the choices you've got and everything kind of I went through. The, in terms of what I've heard so far, um, people are like raving like crazy good performance and they can't believe like, like internet now is like you can have it everywhere. So I'm fingers crossed it's as good as people make out. I mean, they've made this box almost impossible to get into. Here we go. So that's our dish. Here's some instructions. Big old cable. That is some solid cable. Battery pack. My one like question is if you live in an apartment, you do not have clear view of the sky. So what do you do if you live on if you live in an apartment? I guess you can't have it unless you can put it at your window. That that goes from your dish to inside. And then this box sits somewhere inside with, I'm guessing, this is your power. Okay, and then that's gonna go in here. See how they've, they've like made it, I think, waterproof. So that's a deep plug. And then that one will take your internet cable. And see again, I think they've done that so it can be waterproof. All right, I'm gonna put this outside somewhere, and then gonna run the plug in, sorry, run the Cat5 cable in, and then see what we get. All right. Okay, so I've plugged everything in, and uh, now it says, find a clear view of the sky. So, I have a clear view. Continue, uh, continue with kickstand. Plug in Starlink and router. My Starlink is plugged in. Now it says connect to Starlink Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Connect to Starlink. Connected. Quality of your internet. Internet may not be available. Connected without internet. Establishing connection to your Starlink network. Starlink paired successfully. Your device is connected to Starlink. Next, let's get your Starlink connected to the internet and optimize your setup. Searching for satellites. Entering Starlink network. Starlink found a satellite and is attempting to join the Starlink network. Determining alignment. Adjustment may be necessary in a moment for best performance. Wi-Fi not configured. Okay, it says searching. So I've just like plunked it out in a flat space, looking up at the sky. Here we go, optimizing connection. So you can run it on this leg thing or flat. I'm, I'm yet to know which one is better. So I've had to, um, it came up with align your Starlink. And so it had this little like 3D elevation where you spin, spin it round, so to this, and then it went like, you can see that it's like perfectly aligned. And then, and then you go, yeah, I'll take that. So that, that now is aligned. And then the app is really cool. It's just taking me through the settings for the Starlink. So now it's just applying the settings. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, there was, there was, um, it was a really cool app. It, it showed you where your dish was. So mine was like, like this. And then I had to like flip it around to that and then to that. And then it said it was aligned. Okay, so connect to my Starlink. Connect. Wi-Fi. Done. Connect to device. Starlink will use a temporary Wi-Fi network to connect to your device. Okay, connect. Oh, so now it's doing a software update, downloading. So, um, so far I'm really impressed with the app and super simple um, kit. Literally this flat thing 
the white box and the power. I've just plugged everything in, you load up the app, once you've turned on power, it sees your Starlink, it helped me find um, the satellites, and now it's going through the update. So, so weirdly, when my dish was facing like that way, it, it kept just not finding. So what I did, I just spun the dish round so that it's now upwards and, and then it suddenly it suddenly found satellites. So so just if you're struggling, um, like move it around slowly and it will suddenly grab a connection. Okay, it's just doing the software update. If you're wondering, that's the Malaysian sunset for you. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, so I'm just running a speed test. 320, uh, 23 and 28 milliseconds latency, 23 megs upload, run advanced speed test. All right, that's it. I'm now gonna try and use it. Gonna somehow get this plugged in and, uh, oof, that didn't, that didn't take long. Uh, it just took a bit of um, moving that plate around to get the satellites. But it looks to be pretty perfect, the alignment. You can again check it on here. And uh, that's it, star linked up. Let's try it. So what I'm gonna do is plug in, in the back of here, there's two slots. So obviously that's that's not enough, but that, that's that's easily solved. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one cable from there to our net gear box, and then from the net gear box that'll feed the rest of the house. Like I'm gonna back gonna back fill the internet from here as opposed to the inbound fiber from downstairs. I'm gonna unplug that and backfill the internet from here. Let's see if it's any good. 